Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic Oz. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2009. So we are here with this problem 5 of your paper. This problem is of abstract algebra. So firstly let us read it. The number of all subgroups of the group Z60 with addition modulo 60 of integer modulo 60 is so 2 10 12 and 8 so the 60 sorry so these are your options so what you have to do here you have to calculate number of subgroups okay so there are many other ways but what I will do I will introduce a result for you okay and that result will quickly help us you to solve uh, this question okay and that will also be very uh, important in exam exam for exam purpose also so what is that note it's very simple number of subgroup of zn with addition modulo n is equal to tau n now if you have studied number theory then you must have already known this function this function must be uh, trivial to you this is a uh, you can say this tau is actually representing here number of positive divisors of n right so number of subgroup of zn is equal to number of positive divisors of n so this is the result that we need for this question right so we have 60 okay so we need uh, positive divisors for 60 so firstly let us what us let us do uh, the factorization of this 60 you can write this 60 as 2.2 3.5 right so you can also write this as 2 square dot 3 dot 5 so this is the prime factorization of it now what I can do I can show you a trick if you are trying to evaluate tau of t square dot 3 dot 5 then what you need to actually do you need to actually sum its uh, product their powers okay so suppose this is uh, we need to evaluate this tau then what we can do we can just do this thing 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 it means that whatever power the prime number has you have to add one to it and then just product them up and then you will end up with the number of positive divisors okay so the result will be very common that if you have number like this p n q n and more also let us say m here so the result is n plus one m plus one okay so this is the result that uh, we can use otherwise we can use general intuition you need to find out number of divisors of this okay I will tell you how this formula works actually suppose we have this one so number of divisors you have to evaluate right positive divisors only so one is once firstly one is of course of course it's a divisor then other one is what other one is two other one is 2 square you can write 3 here 5 here now what remaining else you can write 2.3 you can write 2.5 you can write 2 square dot 5 you can write 2 square dot 3 so these are the number of divisors okay this is the process that uh, you can get your total number of divisors but that will be a little bit long process okay so for exam purpose you can just remember this formula to obtain the number of divisor I'm not going to prove this formula here because this is a solution video for a question uh, so you can just remember it for yourself so what answer you are getting here is 3.2.2 so 4 3 12 okay so but what we can do we can write these 12 okay I, I thought that it, it will be a bigger number but it's only 12 so how many I have done 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so just 3 remaining now so what I have missed is 3.5 I have also missed 2.3.5 
I have also missed what to square the number itself. So these are the 12 devices that we have. Okay, but you can use this result. This will be always helpful for you. Okay, so this is how we can solve. Okay, so thank you.